Do you feel like this also affects the way that you see other people? Meaning instead of seeing them do something to you, you actually see their pain and their patterning perhaps, as opposed to why'd you do that to me? Like you can actually see their light instead of the projection. Exactly. And and you can see that's where they are. That and 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 you don't have this if somebody asked for your help, you would just do anything and give it. You're not overcome with this, well, I need to fix everybody. You know, because everybody is just in the perfect place where they are. They're 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 exactly where they're meant to be. Um, somebody wrote in to me and said, How do I get back on track? And I said, Well, you're never off track. <laughs> Ever. Explain that. What does that mean for them when you're like, don't worry about it. Everything is perfect. You're right on track. What is that? What should that be telling them? Well, because immediately you let, first of all, immediately you let go of resistance. So the mind is saying, oh, you're off track, you're off track. And then you believe it. And then you, then you create it. And then you feel like you're off track. And I'm saying, but you're actually on track. You're perfectly on track. Now, if I could have had a conversation with the person, I would have said to them, are you the one that's off track or are you the one who is aware that you're off track? Are you the one that's aware or are you the one that's off track? And we're always the one that's aware, which is the observer, right? Your observer. And so and so that kind of frees you up right, right away because it stops the mind from kind of getting you and having you identify with this concept that the mind just made up. It just made up this concept. You're off track. We swallowed it hook, line and sinker. We're <laughs> perpetuating it. I'm off track. I believe it. I'm off track. I'm off track. No, you're not. You're perfectly on track. And, and then to look at it in, in an even bigger perspective is that we are always exactly where we're meant to be. And Robert Adams used to say, everything is unfolding exactly as it should. And, and everyone is going to be fine in the end. None of us can be hurt or harmed in the end. None of us. We are all eternal. And it's up to everybody to discover that about themselves. And I can only encourage people and say it's the greatest journey you will ever take. Um, is to find out who you are and to free yourself. It's really, really wonderful. But there's, you know, there's death of the body, sure, but there's not death of the consciousness of who we are. And so we're just here having fun. I'm curious if you feel like you come into, that we come into life as people with a purpose and a mission be, I'm asking that because the, the secret is all about manifesting your life and asking the universe and sort of a, allowing the flow of things. So do you feel like you came in with a purpose? In some of your stories, you talk about this knowing that you have and, you know, there's like, it's almost like, it's like this tiny bit of information that unlocks this huge, vast library of, of, of content and knowing and so I wonder where you stand on that. Do you feel like you came in with a mission? Um, I do. Uh, and definitely the secret was a part of that for sure. I mean, I looked back on my life and I just saw how I had just been shaped all the way along for that moment. Um, I just felt that my entire life was was heading toward that moment, even to the point of... I, to give you an example, um, I worked in television and I worked in news and um, and so I was very aware of news manipulating stories the way that they wanted to manipulate them. <laughs> and so when the secret became massive, I had every show and organization wanting to interview me, newspapers and everything. And I knew because of my experience with news that if I succumbed to all of that and did all of that, there would just be this thing of building you up and then tearing you down. 
and I knew not to do it. Now, I would never have known that had I not had the experience in news. And so I was very careful about what I did. I did Oprah because I knew that Oprah lived her life, you know, this, that, this way. And so I was very particular about what I did. The other thing was, was that I wanted to make sure that the message was the star and not, um, not me. And, um, I'm, I'm happy to be there to say, this is what I discovered and I had to share it with the world. And I really did. I just, I couldn't have lived without sharing this it just it was a force that was coming through me so I definitely know that the journey that I ended up on was the journey that I was meant to be on however I want to say that is the same for everybody it's just that it it's so more easily marked maybe with the secret you know because it was a big event but with everybody's lives you know there may be a mother and she has three children and she does all of these things of bringing up the children and the children grow up to be beautiful human beings that is exactly what she was meant to do she is meant to be the beautiful mother to have that experience to to shape those beings her children and so i i i just know that that's why we're on track in any given moment even if we're hurting mm -hmm.